so these are the order of reactions are depends on the reactant terms one is first order reaction zero order reaction second order reaction so in that we discuss first one is first order reaction or before that first order reaction we discuss zero order of reaction zero order of reaction means whose concentration term so means the reactant is not depends on concentration such order of reaction is called as zero order of reaction means the reactant is not depends on concentration so that is called as zero order of reaction for this one its mathematical equation calculation we are discussing so derivation of zero order of reaction so for example a a is converted to product a is converted to product while conversion of a is converted to product its mathematical equation the rate the rate is directly proportional to its concentration term that is a concentration of a but the reactant concentration is the reactant is not depends on concentration its concentration term is the power is zero because there are there is no concentration so rate is equals to k into a not okay so means its concentration is zero so your concentration term is denoted with k not means that is your zero order of reaction we know that rate we know that rate is equals to dx by dt the rate is equals to dx by dt then then what happen dx by dt is equals to k not because this value is not depends on the concentration term of reactant so this is dx by dt equal to k not now in this term your a not after t of time it produces your x1 okay the concentration of after t of time it produce x so this concentration is kx okay so while rotating this one dx is equals to k not into dt okay so the above equation is integration integration on both side integration on both side so integration of dx is equals to integration of k not into dt okay integration of dx is equals to nothing but x is equals to k not into t plus c that is your integration so integral number so integration of dx is equal to x the x is equal to k not t into c this is equation 1 okay while applying okay applying of applying of initial concentration terms while applying of initial concentration terms so during the reaction at initial time its concentration generally the concentration c equal to zero and in that there is no product there is no product means its x value also zero means the a reactant is converted to product that product is how much here x its at initial time its concentration is zero and concentration and reactant there is no product both are zero so these values are applying in equation 1 what happen x equal to so this your condition 2 so while applying of this x equal to 0 zero. zero means 0 is equals to k0 into 0 so means your time we will consider what first time t equal to 0 that is 0 plus c okay means your x equal to 0 k0 into 0 that is equal to c so what happen your total value is c okay this is your 0 that equal to c okay the concentration term x c, c equal to 0 this is equation 2 okay now from equation 1 and 2 okay so the equation 2 is applying in equation 1 what happen equation 1 and 2 
x equal to k0 t plus c means x equal to k0 into t plus your concentration of c value is how much 0 that is your 0 and it means x equal to k0 t so means k0 is equal what is that x by t this is your zero order of reaction mathematical equation the mathematical equation of zero order of reaction is k0 is equal to x by t that is k0 is equals to zero order of reaction so this is your simple mathematical derivation of zero order of reaction only one term first condition is important the rate the rate is directly proportional to concentration of reactant here concentration of reactant is zero because the rate of reaction is not depends upon concentration term okay your power is zero that is your zero order of reaction so dx by dt equal to k0 while applying of integration on both sides and initial concentration at initial time means at initial time there is no reaction so initial time is zero and whenever the initial time is zero there is no product that product is zero while these conditions are applying in equation one we are getting equation two this is from equation 192 we are finally getting k0 equal to x by t this is your zero order of reaction okay now importance so what are the importance of zero order of reaction so first we discuss units okay the rate of reaction unit is mole for liter for time means the rate of reaction and zero order of reaction units are same mole for liter for time this was same factor now this was first factor now we discuss second one that is half life okay half life means this zero order of reaction is depends on half life or not so that mathematical derivation is explained now so half life second factor is half life half life means so this half life is denoted with t of okay t means time in the tm of time half of the time that is t of okay half life is denoted with t of half life or half time okay we are call as half time means the time is required for completion or changing of reactant with time is called as half life means so some time is required the, the means the initial concentration the initial concentration means at, the, at initial concentration the t value is zero after t of time how much product is formed what are the changes are observed in a chemical reaction that is called as half life means the time required for completion of changing of reactant is called as half life this half life for zero order of reaction can be cal calculated or the mathematical derivation for zero order of reaction is we know that we know that the mathematical equation for zero order of reaction is k0 is equals to x by t this is our mathematical equation of zero order of reaction here t equal to t of time and whenever t equal to t of time here x produce a by 2 product okay, it produce at initial product after the before formation of product it it's considered that is a by 2 so now changes so these terms so these terms are applied in equation 1 so from equation 192 k0 is equals to x x concentration is how much a by 2 by here t equal to t of time that is t of okay so k0 equal to a by 2 by t by of so we are discussed half life 
so t of is equals to a by 2 by k naught means zero order of reaction next t of is equals to a into 1 by 2 k naught okay 1 by 2 k naught so means t of is equals to a into k naught means nothing but here this is your proportionality constant so while removing our proportionality constant we are getting t of is directly proportional to a t of is directly proportional to a means the zero order of reaction is depends on of life but zero order of reaction is not depends on concentration term that is important the zero of reaction is not depends on concentration but it it is depends on of time okay that is t of is directly proportional to a means the after the completion of t of time its rate of reaction is increases so this is your zero order of reaction so this is your second characteristics and third one is graph okay when a graph is plotted in between an x axis again we are considered on in, in chemical kinetics you are always considered on, on x axis time on y axis consider concentration on y axis concentration on x axis time it gives the line is passed through a origin of the line is passed through origin it gives the slope of line is k 0 t means zero order of reaction means k naught into t so it gives a slope line okay there is your there is a relation between concentration of time concentration and with the time for zero order of reaction so this is your zero order of reaction for mathematical equation and its characteristics 